Yeah, no, well, I'm pretty dry most of the time now. I, uh, of course, I've still got to be a bit careful, you know, if I'm doing something strenuous like lifting, I might leak a little bit of urine, but I think I've come along really good, especially with that physiotherapist. Mm. Um, one of the nurses put me onto him, and he only works mainly with fellows that have had their prostate removed and uh, got me doing uh, exercises on, for my pelvic floor muscles. Apparently, women do them when they've had babies. You know. Anyway, it, was, it worked well for me. I, I really enjoy the exercise. Um, something I can control, you know. And I, I think I was a bit depressed, you know, for a couple of months after the operation, but um, the exercise really helped that. I'm, I do the exercise all the time, don't I? I really look forward to it, don't I? Mm. Like, it's, it's good. Mm. He went through a difficult patch there for a while. He wasn't himself at all. Mm. Mm. Didn't want to do much or go anywhere. I, but I think going to the support group was really helpful for both of us. We met some really nice people there, didn't we? And um, it was great to be able to talk to them and share experiences. That's really good that you've um, got such a positive experience out of a support group. Um, it's, you know, it's good to hear other people's stories and, and be able to relate to that. What about your other side effects, Ted? How are you coping after your surgery? Oh, you know, I, I get a bit frustrated with the tiredness. Um, <laughs> interferes with my exercise program. Mm. So we know that after surgery for prostate cancer that um, often men do suffer from erectile dysfunction um, and that becomes a problem. How are you both managing with that? Well, we were warned that it could take some time. We tried Viagra, but that didn't really work. Um, the doctor wants us to try injections, but Ted's not so keen about that just yet. Unfortunately, the whole thing is a bit awkward and not very romantic. But we will persevere and hopefully things will improve. I'm more concerned about Ted though, that he's okay. Yeah, I mean, with, with the sex thing, um, you know, it's just, well, I, I do still worry about the incontinence stuff side of it and, uh, well, you know, how it's going to affect things and like June says, it's a bit awkward and well, romance has gone out the window f you know, for the time being. I think it's um, it's really important that you both acknowledge that you know um, that the sexual functioning will come about, um, and that things do change, and the spontaneity does go out of it. But it's something that you know you need to work together with. Some men and women, as couples, need to have um, a counsellor or a sexual um, health worker to help them with these things, and um, and I can easily arrange that for you if you are interested. It's a real comfort to know that you're not alone in all this. Um, I get along really good with a lot of the blokes that we go to group with. You know, we get together from time to time, uh, go hiking, have barbecues. You know, that's really good. I know that I am not the same person I was before this happened, but um, I am not unhappy with my life. Um, we just take things one day at a time and we make the most out of our lives. Uh, 